Good morning. My name is Alan Swan. I'm one of the uh, principals in Swan Farms, family-owned farm in northern Calvary County. Have about 360 acres on the shores of Patuxent River. Farm started out many years ago as tobacco farm, and evolved into a grain produce farm. Now we're principally uh, produce and fruit. I farm in partnership with my son and my nephew, and so it's a true family farm. Uh, currently, we raise peaches, watermelons, cantaloupes, tomatoes, and a lot of sweet corn. We're definitely not the biggest, we're not the smallest, but we try to be the best. My name is Joe Sam Swan. Um, I'm the youngest member of the, of the three partners that run this farm uh, full-time. We start pruning in February. Uh, we spend about a month with uh, chainsaws above our heads, which is, is pretty interesting. Um, you find sawdust everywhere. And, uh, and then we uh, switch over to our pruners, and, and we prune um, you know, through uh, March and into May sometimes. And by the time we finish up pruning, we start thinning the trees. Uh, peaches that are vigorous will produce much higher quality peach than they can actually bear as, as a healthy tree. And um, we thin our peaches out for the health of the tree and also it, the fewer peaches on the tree, the greater size of the peach and, and the better quality of the peach that we produce. So we thin out our peaches and by the time we finish thinning them, it's start time to pick them. And we start picking them and we'll, we, we started picking peaches in, uh, in mid-June mid and um, we'll, we'll continue picking peaches until the uh, uh, you know, first or second week of September. We're uh, about the only peach grower in this area and it works well with the rest of our produce, uh, getting customers to come here to the farm. We like to deal with the uh, small independent grocery stores and roadside stands. And we, we, we have a good relationship with them, and I think it works good for them, good for us, and, and good for their customers. We have about 20, 25 varieties. Uh, our earliest one that we really like is Century, Glen Glow, Summer Breeze, Laurel, Red Haven, Crest Haven, Encore, uh, a whole bunch of varieties. When they're handled right and done right, all of them will taste good. They, they want to get one that's fairly firm. Uh, a soft peach really tastes good, but it, it, it doesn't keep too good. It's a, so a peach should, once you get a peach home, you should definitely let it ripen. Some, some varieties are a little bit firmer peach that can better, which used to be a requirement for a peach, you know, decades ago. Now, how many people can eat peaches now? Very few. And we have a few white peaches. They do well. They, they have a following of their own. It seems like white peach, you either love them or hate them. And the people that like them really go out of their way to get them. Well, we pride ourselves on picking the best varieties to raise, whether they're strawberries, sweet corn, tomatoes, or cantaloupes, watermelons. And we try to do the best possible job that we can in providing top quality fruit to our customers and give them the best service and the most dependable service that we possibly can. And I think we do a good job on that. We, the people that are loyal to us, we try to give back more to them than they give to us. And I think they know that and realize that.